So it says that the compact foldable phone stand is a purely mechanical device designed to provide stable support for smartphones. As such, it does not contain any electrical systems or components, right? Imagine describing a complex mechanical design in plain text and getting back ready to manufacture 3D models optimized for cost, strength, and real world assembly. Not just a concept render or demo preview, but a full CAD model built with engineering logic. Welcome to day 207 of the 1000 days of no code challenge. We have already explored tools like zoo.dev which converts text into basic CAD shapes and Hunion 3D which helps you to convert your text or images into 3D models. But today's tool takes a step further. Meet Leo AI, an AI co-pilot specifically designed for engineers and product designers. It doesn't just generate 3D assets, it understands constraints, materials and manufacturing rules and helps you go from rough ideas or sketches to optimize product assemblies. So let's dive in and see how Leo AI works. To begin, head over to app.getleo.ai and we are in the sign in page right now. I'll go to sign up, sign up with Google, select the account and click on continue. So it's asking us about ourselves. I don't know why did we log in using Google then and ready to chat with Leo. Uh, so we have the first AI engineer co-pilot. Take a quick walk through to explore Leo's core features and how he can support your workflow. If I could close this, that would be good, but I cannot. I have to click on this one and then click on this one. And then this one. There are so many things. Quinn, I wish we didn't have to do all of this. Okay, click on next, click on next, this one, click on next this one and then generate click on next and that this one of course we can download leo i'll close this and here we go here we are ready to begin so we have four options here like ideate learn develop or part search okay uh, we will go with our own prompt which is design a foldable phone stand that fits in a pocket and adjusts to three angles i'll click on enter and you can actually see that it started planning now. So it has given us the plan. Okay, product description, a compact foldable phone stand with smooth hinges, slim rectangular base, three distinct angled support slots and rounded edges for pocket friendly portability. Right, and then we have one more, which is a slim foldable phone stand with a rectangular base, smooth hinges, rounded edges, and three distinct angles support slots for adjustable viewing angles, right? So slightly different, okay. And then you have uh, uh, this one, which is like draft at zero percent, or do you want the render, right? Which will be at hundred percent. So you can adjust the percentage of how much of a prototype you need, okay. So I'll go with uh, this one at uh, let's say fifty percent, fifty one, and click on generate. So it will start generating the images for us. So you can see that it has generated its first image here, uh, the second image over here and the third image over here. Okay. I think this one looks a bit more portable, right? So I'll click on this one and now I can actually, I can either edit this, I can create different variants, I can upscale this image or I can generate a 3D model. So let me click on this one and there you go. So if I open this up now, I can actually see how this is designed. It looked very different when we saw it in 2D and now it looks a bit different. So we can give uh, some modification as well. Get more photo. So it started planning for it. So let's just close this. You can see it has given us this one. I'll go to render here. Click on generate and there you go. So we've got uh, this designs done. Uh, this one looks like a better one or maybe this one. Let's go with this one, right? And then we have uh, 
edit option, variance, subscale, or generate three D. Not just that, right? So if you go to ideation over here, okay, this is a whole different ball game. Okay, so I'll just click on next over here, next and close. So here you can actually give any idea and it will generate a full blown summary for you, right? And it gen generally generates nine pointer summary. Let's see. I'll give the same prompt here. Design a foldable phone stand that fits in a pocket and adjusts to three angles. So again, we can make it as a uh, draft or render. Let's go with the uh, 65% now and click on generate. So you can see that the summary has starts generating here and the image also. Right? View project doc. So when you open this up, you can see that it actually has given us nine pointers, right? Introduction, then it has given us product overview. Okay, it's still generating the remaining seven. <clears throat> Mechanical requirements. And then we have electrical requirements. So it says that the compact foldable phone stand is a purely mechanical device designed to provide stable support for smartphones. As such, it does not contain any electrical systems or components, right? And then software requirements, again, not required. And interfaces and interactions, right? And seventh one is um, environment and conditions. Eighth one is safety and compliance. The ninth one would be uh, appendices, which is like general drawing diagrams and so on and so forth, right? You can keep this, you can copy it, you can download it as PDF, Word or text. I'll click on keep. And then again, with this diagrams, you can either edit, create variants, upscale or create 3D diagrams, just like how we saw in the chat. You would also do a sketch from here or you can upload your own image and then that will be converted into 3D diagrams as well. And that's Leo for you. The reason I covered a tool like Leo, even after we covered Zoo.dev and Hunyan, is because this is not just a 3D model generator, but it is an engineering assistant because it gives you an entire nine point documentation which tells what are the materials that need to be used and what are the electricals or softwares or any other things that might be required based on the prompt that you have given, which could be a very good first step for your product engineer. So if that excites you even a bit, go and give Leo a try. And as always, let me know your experience in the comments below. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.